Hello, what's up and what's happening? Now you have rivals and then you have a rivalry that's totally one-sided. And that's been the case between the New York Jets and the New England Patriots. Now most of these spats have been because of off-field off issues from Spygate to the Jets being accused of being rats. R-E-T-S, rats, rats, rats. And of course, Bill Belichick one time was the coach of the New York Jets for about two days and then jump ship to become the head coach of the New England Patriots. You got Curtis Martin going from the New England Patriots to the Jets. Bill Parcells doing the same thing. So a lot of these issues between the two teams have nothing to do with what happens on the field, but hopefully that can change tonight. You see Jeremy Curley, he's back there. He's ready to go. The Patriots, they're ready to tee this one up as Steven Gonkowski is ready to boot this one deep. You're ready. I'm ready. Let's get into it. It is week number seven, and the Jets have a record of three and three, and the Patriots have a record of five and one, best in the AFC. So Curly gets the ball up to about the 26 yard line, and here comes Geno Smith. He played incredibly well versus the Denver Broncos last week. There goes his numbers for the season. Not the best, not the best, but he's definitely playing a whole lot better going forward. So here we go. We give the ball to Chris Johnson. Whoop! Makes a man miss. Gets up to the 30-yard line and that's where he will be stopped right there. We're going to take out the starters for the New York J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. The Brick of Shaw Ferguson and Nick Mangold, they are the two stars of the old line. Jeremy Curley, he's kind of been a forgotten man. Hopefully he can get it going in this game. The Jets are going to need all their weapons going at 4-4. So there goes Chris Johnson, CJ2K, up the gut, picks up a gain of about five. So now it's going to be third and inches from the 36. Chris Ivey's in the game, and the bigger running back bumbles and stumbles his way forward for the big first down. The starters on offense now. Challenge Jones, he's out, and Vince Wilfork is out as well. So Mayo, he's going to have to step his game up along with the other linebackers. We already know about Brandon Browner and, of course, Darrell Rivas, the one-time New York Jets. So Geno Smith on third and eight goes over the middle. That's going to be intercepted by Gerard Mayo, and he's going to get the ball up to the 39-yard line, and the Jets offense throws another INT, and here comes Tom Brady. Eight TDs, nine interceptions, over 1,200 yards passing so far in the early part of the season. So here we go. He's going to find Rob Gronkowski, and Gronk is going to get his first catch of the game on the drag route. Only picked up about a yard, and we're going to check out the starters on offense for the New England Patriots. You see left guard Carl Nix, the one-time Buccaneer, one-time Saint. He is now a Patriot. You see Elderman and LaFell, the two receivers in this one for the Patriots. So Tom Brady can drop back the pass, and he's going to get sacked on a play by Mohamed Wilkerson. The big defensive end gets his first sack of the ball game. Now it's third and 22. Looking is Brady going to find Dobbs across the middle. That goes nowhere, and the Jets force a early three and out. Second and 10 now from the 35-yard line. Man in motion to give us a CJ2K around the outside. And Chris Johnson picks up about seven on the play. Ball is placed at the 42-yard line. Third and three for Geno Smith and the gang green offense. And they're going to find Jace Amaro first and 10 for the Jets. Now it's second and nine. And Smith under pressure. And Smith goes down. And the rookie easily gets his first sack of the game. But I must say, I'm not feeling that celebration, bro. So on third and long, the Jets have it. Look in the passes, Gino, and oh no, he got smacked again, and the Jets will be forced to punt. So first then 10 for Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Tom Brady looking to pass. He's going to find Gronkowski on another drag route that only gets a couple of yards on the play. Not the best completion for the New England Patriots, but they do pick up something on the very next play. Down goes Brady again. This time it's Harris. He just blitzed right up that guy. Got the Tom Brady, and that sets up third and very long. Brady gets brought down yet again. This time it's Barnes off of the edge and that's going to be three sacks in the first quarter for the Jets and the New England Patriots offensive line is having a hard time containing this 3-4 defense of the New York J-E-T-S Jets 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 so Gino he's going to roll out to the outside throws that ball away on second and nine and that's going to set up third and nine as this will be the last play of the first quarter Gino looking Gino throwing and Gino's going to find his man over the middle that is Eric Decker 
But Eric Decker looked to be a little bit short on that one. And that's going to do it for the first quarter of play. The Jets, they're trying to move to 4-3 on the season. The Patriots are trying to stop him. We have Goose Eggs on the scoreboard. 0-0 zero, zero is the score going into the second quarter. And this game is brought to you by GNC. I'm talking to them. Hopefully, they can get me a car or something. That would be cool. SUV. Tired of driving a Toyota. But anyways, man. First and 10. There goes Shane Vereen around the outside. And Shane Vereen goes. Goes down after a pickup of about two. Now it's second eight from the 20 yard line. Tom Brady's looking to pass and another big time hit by Mohammed Wilkerson as he gets to Tom Brady on that pass and that pass hits the grass. So Tom Brady on third and eight gonna go to LaFell and LaFell gets brought down well short of the first down and another three in and out for the New England Patriots. Punting situation for the pass. Jeremy Curley is down there and that is a booming kick as the kicker had to win with him and Jeremy Curley makes the man miss gets up past the 20 makes two of the Patriots miss finally gets brought down at the 26 shot an excellent return because that kick was going to land inside the five but Jeremy Curley gets the ball up to the 26 yard line so first and 10 the give is to Chris Johnson around the outside and no 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 Chrissy Poo you get nothing and you're gonna like it so second and 12 now 750 to go in the second quarter Gino trying to find Curley and Curley can't find the ball and that's gonna set up third and very long Gino looking and that pass should have been an interception and the New England Patriots forced the Jets to go through and now this has been a defense of struggle to say the least. So first and 10 for the New England Patriots, they take over at their own 45. Y'all in the gives to Shane Vereen and Shane Vereen eat grass as you go nowhere yourself and that's going to be a loss of one. Third and one from the 44. Tom looking to set the screen pass. It's not there. Gets away from one but he's not going to get away from the rest as he is getting beat up here in the first half he took a couple of big time shots roll the replay because we got to see that again Tom Brady got away from Muhammad but then right here shut and Richardson comes in uh, delivers the boom Tom Brady then stays on his feet and gets hit by two more Jets and they will credit Harrison with the sack the Jets take over and they give the ball to Chris Ivory and Chris Ivory runs the ball hard up the middle for a gain of eight. Now it's second eight from the 32. Chris Ivory's the tailback. They decide to pass the ball. Jason Morrow on the out route gets brought down by Collins but picks up a fresh first and 10. Chris Johnson trying to run the ball up the guy. But he goes no, only a gain of eight, only a gain of two, setting up second eight from the 33-yard line. So from the 33, Smith looking to pass. Smith going to find Nelson. Nelson splits the defense like he Kobe and gets the ball up past the 50-yard line, down at the 48. And now Smith, he's going to drop back the pass again on first attempt. Now he decides to tuck the run. Big time hit on the field. And my man Gino needs to learn how to slide. Eric Decker recovers the fumble, so the Jets live to play another down. And there goes Chris Johnson right up the middle again. Going to pick up a fresh first and 10. And now there's going to be two minutes left in the first half. And the halftime report is brought to you by Verizon. I got the iPhone with Verizon. $45 a month. Not a bad deal. You should try it. So first and 10 from the 32 yard. And there goes Chris Johnson fighting his way forward. And I mean he's fighting his way forward. Hard fought gain of nine on a play. Setting up second and one from the 23 yard line. Chris Ivy, he gets a turn to run the ball up that gut. He gets met in the hole by Jamie Collins, but he will pick up a fresh first and 10. Ball is placed at the 21 as Gino looks to go downtown and he's going to find Eric Decker and Eric Decker picks up a fresh first and goal from the one yard line. Check out that replay as you see Geno Smith looking for Eric Decker. Makes a big time catch at the one. So now second the goal from the one. 25 seconds to go in the first half and Geno gets pressure by Hightower and that pass innocently hits the grass. Third and goal. Chris Ivey's a tailback. He's going to get the carry up the gut. Touchdown J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. And Tom Brady is running off the field like his dog just died. He got to be upset. You know he don't like losing to the Jets. So Eric Decker, he had a big play in the first half. Gerard Mayo in the defense of the Patriots. They've been doing their thing, but so has the defense of the Jets. But let's roll the halftime highlights and some of the stats. Now Tom Brady, he's 5 for 6, but only has 13 yards passing. Geno Smith, he really ain't doing too much better, even though he did lead the Jets down for a touchdown drive before the half. Now you see the play right here late in the second quarter. That went to 
Nelson, and Nelson got the ball up past the 50, down to the New England 48-yard line. And then Geno Smith will drop back the pass, looking for Eric Decker, and Eric, Eric Decker will make a huge catch down at the one-yard line. So nice, we're going to show it to you twice, as he got brought down by McCarty at the one. And on second and goal, on third and goal, excuse me, Chris Ivey would walk his way into the end zone, tiptoeing in his Jordans. And that's where the first half would end. So let's start the second half. The Patriots start with the ball, and Shane Vereen from Cal picks up a fresh first down for the Jets. Check out the replay. A little read option. You know Tom Brady not keeping the ball. So on first and 10 to get the ball back to Shane Vereen. Shane Vereen doing his best beast mode impression because you know beast mode went to Cal too even though he doesn't seem the smartest dude. Football scholarships go a long way in this country. Now first and 10 for the Patriots as they pick up another first down to give it to Shane Vereen and this time the Jets defense stop him right there and Shane Vereen gets hit in the backfield. Now Tom Tom Brady has been a struggle for him. He has been sacked not once, not twice, not three times, but four times in the first half. Some of the hits have been pretty vicious, especially this one right here. You see him get away from one and then get smacked by another. It has been a rough day for New England protecting Tom Brady. But starting at 6 from the 42, looking for a man over the middle. That's going to be Aaron Dobbs, and Aaron Dobbs gets the ball down to the Jets' 29-yard line. First and 10, New England. So now it's first and 10. Shane Vereen going to fight his way forward, running the ball hard up the middle for a gain of about seven. But now it's going to be second. It's now it's going to be third and three from the 22 yard line. Give it to Shane Vereen. Shane Vereen around the outside, makes the man miss. He's off to the races, picks up another block, and Shane Vereen gets the ball into the end zone. Touchdown, Patriots. And they have tied this bad boy up at seven apiece. I don't know what happened in the halftime locker room of the New England Patriots, but they came out fired up and there goes Chris Johnson up the gut he's only gonna pick up two so now the ball is on the 20 for second and eight play action pass by Geno Smith he's looking looking gonna find Jace Amaro and Amaro is gonna pick up the big first down now it's second and 10 from the 31 Chris Johnson is the tailback he's gonna get the carry and CJ2K finds a lane gonna get brought down by Darrell Revis first time we have mentioned him all game long third and four now Smith looking Smith getting hit as he lets that one go and the Jets will have to punt the ball on fourth and four Shane Vereen is back to receive this punt. This punt is going to pin him down inside the 20, but he has room to return. He gets up past 30, spin move, down past the 40, headed to midfield, but gets bumped out of bounds at the 46 straw line. Shane Vereen is the tailback as they set up a screen pass to Shane Vereen. He's going to wiggle his way out of that tackle by Allen, and he's down the sideline. Finally gets brought down by Copels out of bounds at the 39-yard line of the Jets, and the Patriots got things moving early in this drive. Nice screen pass pass by the New England Patriots and that sets up a fresh first and 10. Now it's second and four from the 32. Tom looking. Tom terrific going to Gronkowski and Gronkowski bounces off a would-be tackler and gets up to the 15-yard line. Tom terrific is eight for nine on the day so far. Shane Vereen gets to carry on second and 10, fighting his way forward down to the sixth show line, setting up second and one. You see the stats for Shane Vereen, 13 carries, 85 yards, third and one from the six. They spread everybody out, going to the out route. That's going to be Gronkowski down to the one, and the New England Patriots are in scoring range now as they get the ball to Shane Vereen, runs over a man, gets it to the end zone, and the Patriots come roaring back as they take a seven-point lead for 14 to 7 is the score. Shane Vereen treating the linebacker of the Jets just dirty right there as he gets it to the end zone. So 14 to 7, New England on top, and the Jets trying to answer to give it to CJ. 2K on the draw play, gonna pick up a gain of eight. So now we start the fourth quarter. The Jets had the ball. Chris Johnson around the outside, trying to make a man miss the road. Revis and Hightower combined on the stop. You see that the Bills and the Chiefs and the Steelers are the next three opponents for the Jets. It does not get too much easier after this game. And there goes CJ. 2K going to get brought down by Brandon Browner. And it looks like the Jets are going to stick to this running game trying to come back here. But Chris Ivey gets denied any type of yardage. In fact, it looked like he lost a yard. And that's going to set up a big third down here. So on third and two. Geno Smith fakes the handoff. Now he goes to the fullback in the flat first down. Jets. 
big time first down on third and two. You see the stats right there. Tom Brady has been doing his thing, but so has Geno Smith for the most part. There goes Chris Johnson around the outside, and he's going to pick up a solid gain of four. But now it's third and six. Can the Jets convert another big third down? Play action pass. Looking. Going to Eric Decker. No, excuse me. That's Curly, and Curly cannot get to it, and the Jets are forced to punt. So third and nine for the Patriots. Looking for the out route. That's going to be Julian Elderman, and he's going to pick up a fresh first and 10. Mudo change for the Patriots. Second and 13. Tom looking. Tom throwing, and that pass going to hit the grass, and now the Jets have a chance to get off the field on third and 13. Brady drops back on third and long. He has all day to comb his hair, look in the mirror, and tell his wife how pretty he is. But there goes Shane Vereen, and Shane Vereen picks up the first down, and the Jets fail to get off of the field on third downs. Now second and eight, and there goes Tom Brady over the middle to LaFell, and LaFell picks up another first down for the Patriots, and the Patriots offense continues to stay on the field and more importantly milk this clock. And there goes Shane Frink. He's going to get hit in the backfield, and the New England Patriots get stopped on the second down runs. Now it's third and 13, and Shane Frink up that gut, almost picks up the first down, and the Patriots they keep the ball on the ground just to melt the clock. The Jets are forced to use two timeouts on that drive, so they're going to be left for one as they are down by 10 with just under a minute 40 to go in this one. So minute 35 is on the clock. 20, The ball is on at the 25-yard line, and Geno Smith drops back the pass. He is going to find Eric Decker. He is going to pick up a gain of seven. Third and three now. Looking for a man. That's Jace Amaro, and Amaro hangs on to the ball, gets the ball up to the 46-yard line. Now, Geno looking to pass. He's going to find his man, Nelson, and Nelson picks up a fresh first and 10. Smith looking. Smith under pressure, and Smith goes down back at the 44-yard line, and the Jets will have to hustle and bustle their way. Rex is yelling stuff. He's no offensive coordinator. He's just rah, 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 rah out there. He don't know what's going on. And on second and 18, Geno Smith stays in the shotgun set. He makes the audible. The ball is snapped. He's looking for a man. Get throw the ball to the left side to Nelson. And he did not have a chance to get to that one. So now it's third and long. 30 seconds to go. Smith looking. Smith under pressure. And Smith goes down again. Fourth and long, fourth and 23 from the 48 yard line. Can take a shot deep to Shaq, and Shaq Evans makes the catch, and now they're down to the nine yard line. Seven seconds to go. They find Shaq on the slant route. Five, four, three, two, one. And that's going to end this one here in New England. The Jets, they played decently but not good enough to get the victory as the Patriots were able to do their thing and hang on to a 10-point lead here late on this primetime showdown. So the Jets, they're going to move to 3-4 and four on the season, and their next opponent will be the 4-3 and three Buffalo Bills as the Patriots move on to 6-1. and one. Not a bad day by Geno Smith. Or anybody else on the New York Jets defense or offense to be exact. But the New England Patriots, they played a whole lot better than the Jets did. And they were able to squeak out a 10 point victory as a defensive slugfest for the most part in this one. The big plays weren't really there for the Jets. They couldn't really get the ball into the end zone or in scoring position. And the Patriots will have to see them again in New York this time or New Jersey, whatever you want to call it. But that's my time. I'm going to see y'all later. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace. Hot sauce.